we're going to have a look at the ideal logic air halo which is the room thermostat you will get if you've got an ideal logic air heat pump and um, the halo itself can be mounted on this nice mount this little table mount um, or you can wall mount it as well so you've got options there which is quite nice so really nice weighty bit of kit you get these three buttons in the front you've got the left hand button the central button which we can also rotate and the right hand button as well so if i press the central button the first thing i see is what my room temperature is and i can turn my heating up if i want to um, when i turn it up i get a little flame come up when it when it wants to to heat up or i can turn it down there's my flame or i can turn it down again like this on the left hand side we've got menu so we go into menu we've got holiday mode and i can tell it how many days i'm going away for holiday here um, if I'm going away and the heating and hot water will be turned off for this duration and um, but it will still have frost protection so if I need to protect my home from any frost or if the heat pump starts to get cold and the water might start to freeze I've got frost protection going on there so got that cancel that go back just press the left hand button I've got my timed heating schedule so if I click into here I can now change that schedule and put extra bits and pieces in so I click again add a new event or copy my schedule to other days or I can go in there and I can edit what I've got so my comfort set point starts at 8 p.m 8 a.m sorry and uh, it's 20.7 degrees and then my setback starts at 6 and it's 18 degrees I can adjust this at a later date with no problem so what this means is my heat pump will run all the time and just overnight it will just slowly set back that temperature so it's not too warm in my house overnight. And this is by far the most efficient way of running your heat pump. So cancel that, go back again, go back again. Um, I've also got heating plus hours. The heating's on on this one at the moment. But if I wanted to give it a little boost up, I could. Um, hot water controls, if I click in here, my hot water is currently off, but I can give it a little boost if I want to as well. And it would be one hour or two hours. And I can give that heat, heating for my hot water a little boost up if I'm running out of hot water or I need to boost it for the people staying over, for example. So I'm going to cancel that because I don't want that. Click out of there. So back to my menu. I've had a look at hot water controls. I can also look at energy data, which is really nice. This one hasn't got any on because it's in the training center. So it tells me today how many kilowatt hours of energy I've used and how many kilowatt hours of heat it's produced as well. And I can then calculate my COP from that. If you see in the bottom right hand corner, I've got one of two next and I can have a look at my next screen. So my next screen is telling me that I've actually got a COP at the moment of 5.92, which is quite impressive. Um, SCOP hasn't come up on this one because again we're in the training center with this uh, with this unit um, gives me how much central heating um, 78 percent of that is central heating and 22 percent of that is using my hot water click back again and I've got diagnostics I can click in there and it gives me loads of information about the unit itself and again I've got more pages and I can use the right hand button to have a look at the other pages through there and it gives me loads of information about what the heat pump's doing and uh, and how it's running click back and back and now I've got control fault no control fault detected so if I've got any faults on the actual control of my uh, heat pump then it will come up here click back again and now I've got a heat pump and again no faults in there but if I had a fault I could come to this menu and see what that fault is Back again, I can change my time and date in here, should I require to do so. I've also got advanced settings. And if I go into advanced settings, it then tells me that changing the advanced settings can affect the performance of my heat pump and should only be done by your installer and service engineer. So please uh, don't go and start messing around with the advanced settings in there because it's set up to be as efficient as we possibly can get it. Go back again. I've got a landlord setting, so if uh, I'm a landlord and my house is being rented out, I can set certain parameters in there and, and limit the temperature, etc. And then the bottom, got done, and it goes back to the main menu where I've got my temperature. Easy.